I'm gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner. This is the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. So this leave-in conditioner is supposed to reduce shedding, add shine, and volume to your hair. The leave-in conditioner, it comes in the spray bottle, which I like, because as you can see, it's like super, super light. The yellow color does go away. So I'm just gonna spray it onto my hair. It smells like Mm. It smells like lemon candy. Lemon candy? I'm just gonna spread this throughout my hair and finger detangle as I go. One thing I love about this leave-in conditioner is it's super lightweight. Excuse my little hair, but it's literally like so liquidy. And I love that because it still feels super hydrating. Like I said, it promotes volume, which is so true because it doesn't even weigh down your hair. And this doesn't weigh down my hair at all. It literally feels like nothing is in my hair. It feels like I'm adding more water in my hair. But you can feel the product seeping into your curls. A creme brulee to me is sort of like a styling cream. So I'm going to put this before I put the gel on my hair. This adds luster to your hair and makes it shiny. This is like, like jello kinda. But the consistency, oh my gosh, it's the same as the leave-in. It's very light. It's so easy to work with. And this smells like, it smells like candy. Like all of it smells like candy. So I'm just gonna put this all over my hair like this, not even in sections. So far, I love how this is going into my hair. It feels sort of like a cream gel and it does not feel sticky, hard, or anything of that sort. Something I like about these products is um, it's kind of hard to have a heavy hand with them because a little goes such a long way. So now I have the cream brulee all over my hair and these hairs are just from me go running through my hands but you can see there is zero frizz and I haven't even put the gel in yet. So right now, before I put the gel in, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry for a little and let the cream brulee and the leave-in conditioner settle in. And then I'll be back when I'm ready to put the gel in. So honestly, the cream brulee dried in my hair. Like my hair isn't completely dry, but it got to the point where I like it to be dry before I add the gel. Really quickly, which I love because I hate when my hair takes long to dry. And when it takes long to dry, that means the product is usually like more heavy. So next, I'm gonna take the Aloe Berry Styling Gel. So this is just gonna help define my curls. So the gel is kind of like a jelly. It smells so sweet, like, it kind of reminds me of like Starburst. Like all the other products, very liquidy and easy to work with. And I'm just gonna put the gel on the top layer, run it through a little bit. When I'm running through my hair, I can literally feel curls that are formed already. Like, I'm so excited. So with the gel, you don't, you don't really need too much. It coats quickly. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get a little more and then scrunch and diffuse Look at those curls already 
the gel is all in everything is in for my day one hair and i'm just going to go diffuse and then i'll be back with the results so i finished diffusing this definition is crazy i haven't even fluffed my hair out yet but this is just crazy i literally have zero frizz at all i have no frizz i know for a fact that this hair is gonna last me a couple days but either way i am gonna check in tomorrow as well which i'll talk about in the end of the video so right now i'm just gonna fluff out the scrunch with the glazed arrogant oil it says this is supposed to add shine to my hair but look how shiny my hair is already like i can't even imagine how shiny it's about to be i'm just gonna take about two pumps mix it around and then I'm gonna flip my hair over and just fluff it out so this is my hair fluffed out um, the shine is amazing the definition is amazing these products definitely give me tighter smaller curls so I feel like it'll have the same effect on other people it might give your curls like a more tighter look which I don't mind because I love it look at that I have no frizz at all literally I have zero frizz so guys this is it for now um, I'm going to check in tomorrow and show you how I refresh it with the refreshing spray and I'll probably use the oil again tomorrow so I'll show you all of that so see you tomorrow so I'm back the next day. Um, it's actually currently about to be 7 o'clock the next day. The definition is literally like perfect. I have a lot more volume, which I love. Like this is literally the result straight out of the pineapple. I'm like, <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. So I feel like this is a good spot for my hair to fall, but the volume is, you guys saw, I literally took it out the pineapple, fluffed it out a tiny, tiny bit, um, and I'm just like moving the curls around. There, this frizz is sometimes frizz I get on day one. So I'm gonna grab the curl refresher. It smells like strawberry lemonade. The consistency is literally water. So I'm just gonna spray my curls underneath because I feel like my curls on top don't really need refreshing. Okay, I don't know what the heck that spray just did, but my curls look so much better. Look at these curls underneath. It's kind of like a curl activator and it's not even dry yet. My hair is refreshed. <laughs> That's crazy. There is some frizz but that's completely normal especially on day two hair um frizz is definitely expected but um the volume i love it and the definition is still there like the definition is here to stay so i was able to use every single product that they sent me and just to let you guys know, none of these products have silicones, parabens, sulfates, none of them. This company is cruelty free, which is an amazing thing as well. So if you love definition and if you love shine, I would definitely recommend these products. The leave-in conditioner was definitely lightweight, like it said. It literally went into my hair, it kind of felt like water, but it did hydrate my curls. As you can see, like they are bouncy. And I do think part of that is from the hydration from the leave-in conditioner. And some of you know I do love leave-ins. Next, the, cur the creme brulee curl delight. This was also very lightweight and very defining. I feel like this can be used by itself. It was very, very defining. When I put it on right away, I can tell my hair was soaking it all in. It went on my hair really easy. When I put it in my hair, I didn't have excess on my hands. Like it just really soaked into my hair. 
Next, the Aloe Berry Styling Gel. This gel can definitely be used on its own. This gel gave me tighter curls, more defined curls, and this was the frizz capture, I swear. Like, this gel gave me literally no frizz at all. Like, I legit had no frizz yesterday at all. I mean, of course, there's like those little frizzies, but like, come on, like, on day one hair, this oil is, um, it's a little on the thicker side, so you don't need much, but it did add shine, and it does go on your hair really easy, and it doesn't, like, leave residue on your hands. Like, sometimes when you put oils in your hair, um, they stay on your hands, and I really don't like that, but this one definitely does not do that. The spray went on really easy, really light, like I said, which is important for refresher sprays because you don't want to put heavy stuff in your hair after day one. Like, you kind of want it to be lighter as the week goes by, not heavier, and hair super light, and it activated my curls again. You guys literally saw it firsthand. Overall, if you love definition and if you love those tight curls, these products are definitely for you. And they're also super affordable. So I think that's it for this video. I showed you guys everything I could. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you've tried these products before, let me know. I would love to know your opinion. Other than that, as always, thank you for watching. Brother, you